Just gotta keep on pounding him. Hey everybody, and a welcome to another video of Call to Arms Mods, where we are today back with the War of the Worlds mod. Now before I talk a little bit about the battle that you can expect to see in this video, I would like to address uh, my, absentee from, or my absence from YouTube for the past couple of weeks. Some of you were actually afraid that I stopped YouTube altogether, but none of that is true. Uh, I actually just was busy with another project uh, for work that was outside of this YouTube channel. Uh, that actually took longer than anticipated, uh, but that uh, project has finished up and now I am back to uh, making regular video content and uh, schedule for uh, this YouTube channel. Uh, I also got sick with COVID uh, during those weeks and I actually got sick pretty bad so um, I wasn't really able to do any recording because my voice was all screwed up. I would like to notify you though that I do have a, a YouTube channel called The Gaming Archivist. You can find the link to that channel in the description down below and um, that is a channel where I do long plays of various games and I was actually continuously uploading uh, there for the past couple of, uh, of weeks that I've been absent on here so uh, if you were actually um, subscribed to that channel, uh, you would have seen that I was still very active and still very uh, doing various Let's Plays because that was uh, easier to combine uh, with the work than actually making like story-driven content like the Jurassic World series uh, or Jurassic uh, World cinematics. I know a lot of you want more Jurassic World uh, that's coming up, but of course that does take a long time to make. So, uh, you know, it's Easter this weekend and then hopefully next week I can start on making a more story driven content uh, as well. But in the meantime, we will have a battle like we have here. In the uh, previous videos that we did with the War of the Worlds mods, we were of course able to deal with one single tripod uh, and not two and I wanted to see if we were maybe uh, able to more efficiently deal with them. So what I did this time is, uh, first of all, we have surrounded the tripod as you can see here and what I decided for this scenario is that besides um, more uh, tanks that we have, we actually also have the Humvees. Now the Humvees might not actually seem very strong, but the weapon that they have on here, this one, is actually very powerful. It's very slow, but incredibly powerful. Powerful to the point where uh, when this mod was in its early stages, it could actually take out a tripod with only two or three Humvees. Now they have been updated and made stronger, so it's going to be interesting to see if this many Humvees are able to take down a single tripod, or maybe two, if that's the case. Now, if in this video we are still not able to take out, for example, two tripods at once, what I will do in the next video is get rid of all the infantry and um, only do armor. So only do tanks. Uh, you know, if I, instead of all these infantry, add a few more tanks, it shouldn't really lag the game all that much and we would have a lot more firepower. It's also the case that a lot of these infantry are not in range to fire, uh, so putting them closer might also be a bit more efficient, but will be a slaughter fest and quite laggy from the very get-go. Anyway guys, as always, in this first battle I will only be playing as infantry and in the second one I'll be uh, commandeering one of these vehicles. Anyway guys, let's see if we can do this. Alright, here we are at the outskirts of the battle. Here comes the tripod engaging. Immediately taken out. A lot of troops. There you saw the rockets. Those rockets are from the Humvees. Immediately lost the tank on our right. Here go the troops. We can use some of these vehicles as a little bit of cover. Of course, here in the desert, there is not much cover. Ooh, look at that. More of the rockets. Oh, there I went. Let's see this battle a little bit. Let's look at this giant army. Ascending down on this tripod over here. But look at the carnage. Look at how much damage it already did. Again, I do love in this mod how absolutely devastating the tripods are. You see still a lot of explosions, which is a good sign. That means quite a few vehicles are still intact. In a way, I don't want to admit it, but many of the infantry kind of act as uh, human shields here. A 
lost another vehicle. Come on, boys. Don't let up. Just gotta keep on pounding them. We'll buckle eventually. Not entirely sure what target it is actually picking off now. It might actually be fighting off the Humvees. It's prioritizing now the vehicles. We are still not through its shields. Lost another tank. You can see it became uh, less laggy. <laughs> which is of course a sign that we've lost a lot of troops. Now if the... Uh, like I said, in the next scenario I will be doing tanks only. If that doesn't work, there's one final solution I can think of if we have to deal with two, uh, two tripods. And it might have to do with a certain type of bomb. <laughs> but also pretty much a catastrophe. So that'll be the absolute last resort. Now it's actually picking off infantry. Oh god. Oh god. Let's see at the damage here. Oh my god, look at this slaughter. As you can see, the Humvees are actually still operational. All of them are. I can actually take control of one and show you quickly how long it actually takes for them to um, reload. This one's almost done reloading. Now, what I don't know... So here we go, and now you can actually see the reload. You see the orange bar that fills up there? That's how long it actually takes to reload. So that's actually a good sign how long it takes. Uh, that's the only thing that's quite bad about it, is that once basically the um, other units are dead, uh, the Humvees probably become obsolete, because I don't know if it works the way that the tripod shields will replenish over time. If that's the case, this battle is over right now, because the reloading takes too long for its shields to um, just replenish. But as long as other units are constantly bombarding it... Oh, wait! I spoke too soon! Its shields are down! Oh! <gasps> Is it going down? It's smoking. It it took some major damage there. Oh, now it's actually taking out the the Humvees itself. I'm not entirely sure what this tank is doing right here. This tank is like uh, hello, I kind of have a foot fetish. Are all the others dead? Oh, they are. Oh no! Oh my god! No, this battle is over, but... Gotta give it to them. They, uh, they at least got through their shields, so that's interesting. So let's actually see what happens if we do this battle over again, but we now actually take part of one of the vehicles. I will take part of a tank, uh, or the other one, because, uh, like I said, it's actually pretty boring playing as a Humpy because the reloading times are so long. Alright, here we are actually now playing as a tank all the way at the left flank. We are so far away that we can... Oh, there. The tripod now comes into view. Can I hit him from here? There, we got to hit in. Is it actually moving? It's not. That's interesting. Oh, I guess it was glitched or something that it suddenly switched to that because normally it would move. Okay, a battle has commenced. All of the infantry is heading forward. I'm going to stand... Oh. Stand here for now. I can provide a little bit of cover for the infantry. That's the big issue with the left flank here is that 
the infantry is so far away that it takes a long time for them to actually participate in the battle. Oh, actually, what I do want is I want to be in range to where my machine gunner can fire on it as well. You would think we... There we go. Okay. Come on. I'm at a weird angle here where I cannot actually hit it. I'm actually going to move a little bit. A lot of infantry here. There we go. Oh boy. We're still here. Still operational. Another hit. Come on. Gotta get rid of that shield. The shield is gone. Shield is gone. Nope. Shield is still up. Again, those Humvees are doing work. Takes a long time. I'm actually at an angle now where my machine gunner cannot hit it. There we go. This should work. Keep it under fire. Oh, if that's the black smoke, it does actually to hurt enemies that are below it. And I got actually killed. Better tank. Oh, this isn't good. Come on, reload. I'm not entirely sure why I didn't see the targeting reticule there. Okay, this tank actually lost its uh, gunner, its machine gunner. Can I aim that high? Come on. I don't think I can aim that high. Look at the devastation here with all the palm trees being rooted out. Okay, I hit one of its legs. <laughs> Oh, I'm afraid it's now actually firing at the... Oh, there we go. Another damage. Come on. Keep it up. Keep up the damage. Oh, there I went. It's beautiful though when its shield is gone. Another explosion. It's wobbly. <gasps> Come on. It's still standing. Nope. Oh my god, we did it. Oh my sweet Jesus. And there you can actually see how much more effective you are if you actually play as a vehicle of your own. You know, we were not able to deal with it. But, um, we were otherwise. Okay, so now that we are actually able to... What is it doing? Um, now that we were able to deal with uh, one, we will uh, try two again. Though, seeing how much trouble we got with one, uh, I probably don't think we were able to. But what I will do is I will actually um, place the infantry closer to the two tripods so they can immediately participate in the battle uh, instead of running all the way up and actually dying that might be one of the few things that we can do to actually make it more uh, a higher success rate of us dealing with two tripods let's see how that works out all right guys here we are and now with the battle against two tripods 
uh, to avoid a little bit of lag because there's uh, many more units now I also added a few more infantry but also Humvees uh, I put the game on a uh, slow motion uh, so please uh, bear with that but I think that the uh, battle is spectacular enough to where we can afford that oh we got a vehicle coming in The main issue that we now actually have to deal with, uh, besides that the infantry can uh, already um, participate in battle, but are absolutely being slaughtered, as you can see. But the main issue is that our forces obviously get divided, our firepower gets divided between the, um, the two tripods. So even though I added more units on our side, you can see that not all the rockets are going to the same uh, tripod, meaning we won't be as effective. Oh my god. It seems to me that the left one is being punished a lot more, though actually currently the uh, right one is getting a lot of damage. What's very interesting to me though is that one what's interesting to me is that with the infantry being in close range already from the beginning uh, a lot less units of them are actually able to get closer it seems that vehicles now have a much longer lifespan oh shotgun that's not very effective Like I said, the two tripods, that is still our um, main, main issue. That if there are more than one, oh, this is a good weapon. We cannot really deal with it. Again, it, leave in the comments if you have any ideas. What kind of strategy will we use to deal with the tripods? Like I said, in the next battle, it will be vehicles only, but... That also has its limits, of course. I mean, we've lost now uh, so many units that we're, we cannot really be very effective. I can actually increase the speed a little bit yeah both shields are still up now it's actually going after the Humvee so this is actually uh, the death stroke Still reloading. Again, that long loading time. Yeah, there go our Humvees. Alright guys, this is it for this battle. Um, still, we're a successful to take out one single tripod, which I'm very proud of, but two is still our Achilles heel. What are we gonna do? We actually... Um, like I said, I'm running out of ideas on how to deal with this. Um, I actually have one more idea that's pretty original, but I don't know if that's going to work, but we will actually see. But, um, yeah, two tripods is still seemingly too difficult for us. So let's see if we actually can get some units together or some formations together to where we will be able to deal with it too. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. I'm happy to be back on YouTube. I hope you guys are too uh, ha uh, happy that the videos are back, and I will see you guys next time.